This company is so creepy. All employees were put in dog masks. They can't speak. They can only communicate through barking and using dog language. If they violate the rules, they are subjected to inhumane torture. They were dressed in uniform and sat neatly at their workstations, surrounded by barbed wire. As soon as the bell rings, they start making phone calls to sell their products. The sound of barking dogs echoes in the air. They are used to working 18-hour days. The reason the employees are so obedient is because the factory pays them so well. They have lost their human consciousness. They do what their masters tell them to do. No sense of resistance. Due to the shortage of local food resources, people's life has become more stressful. The company has developed a delicious canned meat that people can't stop eating. Eat it and forget your troubles and get happy. It was a big hit on the market. The owner was making a lot of money. Too busy for him to hire outside people with high salaries. The man saw a monthly salary of 100,000. Without hesitation, he came to the company for an interview. He successfully applied for the job. This is a closed management. After receiving his work clothes and mask, he was taken to a separate dormitory. Standing in front of a mirror, he curiously puts on a dog mask. This look will become his normal routine. Time to work. The scene of co-workers trying to dog bark make the man feel uneasy. But thinking that he could earn 100,000 a month he chose to compromise, imitating the others, picked up the phone and began to work hard. At that moment the security guard came in. The man looked up to see. He saw the girl with her hands in chains. The security guard took him to a spare workstation, unchained his body. He obediently began to work. During the break everyone looks at the big screen. A brainwashing commercial began to play. Canned meat is healthy and tasty. No chemicals and it lasts forever. Low in calories and high in protein. Rich in vitamins. The boss will feed the cans to the employees who perform well. The curly-haired girl couldn't help but laugh at this. Stand up and remove the mask. She mocked them as a bunch of poor dogs. Security guards immediately came up and caught her. The curly-haired woman said this place was like a prison. She has seen the colorful world outside. The security guards roughly dragged her away. The owner began to speak. They just need to do their job as dogs. If they speak human language, they are disrespectful. According to the rules, they need to be punished. The others bowed their heads in fear. A few minutes later the security guard came in with a dog in his arms. They had turned the curly-haired woman into a real dog. There were pictures of dogs on the walls of employees who had been punished for breaking the rules. At the same time, seeing this scene, the girl stood up and barked to show her resistance. The boss was very angry. Had the security guard take her to the office? The girl is pinned to the couch with her hands chained and a dog necklace around her neck. The boss walks up to her with an impish smile, took out an unknown potion and added it to the can, choking her and forcing her to eat it. The girl became dizzy and fell into a coma after a short time. The boss gently stroked her cheek. Then something happened that no one wanted to see. At the end of the day, it was time to eat. The dog bowl was placed in front of everyone. They gobbled it up. They licked the food like dogs on the table. The men see their colleagues eating with gusto and fall into self-doubt. Look at the slimy pink cans. They can't bring themselves to eat. The girl next to him is also not eating. She is in a very poor state of mind. The boss is in stark contrast to them, sitting in his office enjoying a prime rib. The beautiful secretary is serving him. Everyone lost consciousness at night. It turns out that the boss added an unknown drug to the cans that can paralyze the nerves. When consumed, they become very obedient. He colluded with local officials to promote the cans not only for profit, but also to control the residents to become obedient dogs. The girl crawled on the ground while the security guard left. Since the man did not eat canned food clear-headed, follow her through the corridor to the warehouse. She skillfully took out apples. The man was afraid to be found by the boss, did not dare to steal food. The girl can't help but spit with him. The company requires them to learn to listen to people. They are not allowed to speak human only barking dogs, and wear a mask all day is too boring. The man looked at her in surprise. She actually speaks Mandarin without using dog language to communicate. The man returned to the dormitory and kept sniffing the scent of apples. It was so tempting that he couldn't help but take a bite. This is the taste of normal food. From then on, they communicated more and more frequently, often eat apples together. The good times didn't last long. The incident was soon exposed. Security guards tortured their colleagues, hearing their screams. The men clenched their fists and prepared to confess. Just then the girl came forward and confessed to all the crimes. She was again taken to the boss's office. The boss reached out to touch her but was refused. It turns out that the boss likes her a lot, as long as she is willing to follow him. 
She can be the boss's wife, eat what she wants to eat, say what she wants to say, no more restraint. The girl scolded her. The boss was very unhappy with her attitude. He took out a black liquid and forced her to drink it. The girl could not fight against the boss and gradually lost consciousness and was at the mercy of the boss. And so the days go by. This is a job that pays 100,000 a month. All employees must wear a dog mask, kneeling on the floor like a dog and spinning around on command. The boss told them to stick out their tongues and they obeyed. Then they lay down on all fours and barked like dogs. The boss was pleased to see this scene, enjoying the feeling of being on top. To reward them, he used his index finger to pick out the can and feed it into his mouth. As the black liquid is added to the cans, it becomes increasingly addictive, gradually becoming numb until finally losing the ability to think. They become robots who do what they are told. The man holds the girl next to him. They look at each other. Soon it's the man's turn. But he does not swallow the can and spits it out immediately when the boss turns to feed the girl. The girl opens her mouth without expression. Just when the boss thought he had her under his thumb, suddenly felt a sharp pain. The girl bit his finger and bled. She lay down on the ground and laughed out loud. She felt a sense of relief like never before. Security guards rushed up and prepared to take her away. Hearing the girl's screams the man could not stand it anymore, shouting to let her go. The boss couldn't believe that the man didn't bark but spoke in human language, ordered the security guards to take him away. He knew he was going to die. He looked reluctantly at the girl. A few minutes later the secretary hung the new dog picture on the wall. The man had become a dog. At night the girl rests at her workstation. Her mind kept going back to the moments with the man. She removed a wire and carefully climbed to the warehouse. She pried open the dog cage and rescued the man and carried him to escape, but accidentally touched the alarm system. The girl panicked and pushed open the door. The boss was already waiting here. He never wanted to hurt the girl, but the girl pushed him away again and again. The moment the girl took out the black liquid and opened the lid, the colleagues on the floor were very excited. They were excited to move. The girl poured the liquid on the boss without hesitation. The smell of the liquid deeply attracted the colleagues. They pounced on the boss like hungry wolves. It didn't take long for him to be gobbled up. The security guards shot them all down. The girl tried to leave the cage with her dog but was stopped. The guards were standing in full force at the door. She knew she couldn't escape, so she took off her mask. At this moment he seemed to see the blue sky and white clouds, lying on the lawn with the dog in her arms, breathing freely, free and unfettered, feeling the smell of nature. The pain in her body soon brought her back to reality. Security guards shoot him wildly. She loses all signs of life. This is the end of the film. Short film dog mask, but there is a strong ironic odor. People here are trained to live like dogs. They lose the ability to think like the walking dead.